the Amur River. It is one of the longest rivers in Asia, flowing through thousands of kilometers from the steppes of Mongolia, through the untamed wilderness of China and Russia, and ending at the Strait of Tartary, where it empties into the Pacific Ocean. The area consists of 380 million acres of the Amur River Basin, which is the longest wetlands river in the Eastern Hemisphere. This large river originates near the sacred peak of Burkhan Kalban in northeastern Mongolia, which is also the birthplace of Genghis Khan. The Amur region covers parts of northeastern China, Mongolia, and the Russian Far East. The region has one of the most biological diverse temperate forests in the world, which means forests in a rather mild climatic area that receives heavy rainfall. The Amur harbors an amazing variety of species. Some 2,800 plant species, 500 animal species inhabit the Russian side of the river alone. The area is a key habitat for some critically endangered wildlife, such as the Amur tiger and the Amur leopard, which lie very close to the brink of extinction. The forests are not only home to rare wildlife, but they also include plants like the Korean pine and wild ginseng, a traditional medicinal herb. Many of the forest areas in the Amur region remain largely pristine and untouched, although they're coming under pressure from increasing development and the demand for resources. These old growth forests are home to Amur leopards, Amur tigers, brown bears, musk deer, and many other species. In recent years, poaching has reduced due to enforcement efforts by the governments and various organizations that are working to reduce demand for illegal wildlife products, such as bear gallbladder, tiger paw, and ginseng, which are used to make traditional Chinese medicines. For a long time, the main stem of the Amur River has been one of the world's longest undammed rivers. Due to increased demand for electricity, various dams has been built in this region. Dams have resulted in a change in natural river flows and threaten wildlife. Rapid population growth in the northeastern China is increasing pressure on indigenous ethnic groups who live for centuries in the Amur River Basin, such as the Ong, Hez, and Kyrgyz. Far few people live on the Russian side of the river, such as the Nanai and Yudij, who depend on the rivers and woods for their survival. Thank you for watching the video. For more interesting facts make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, peace out.